guys. So I'm a little bit sweaty right now. Um, and yes, I understand that the video I technically put out about six hours ago was the day, the day before before that one. It, it, te it technically was a whole day late. It shouldn't have been, but it was. I've got a good reason though. And that's why I'm going to explain the last two days in this one. So it's another two in one vlog. Um, ow. So I woke up. Now we're talking about Friday. Yeah, we're talking about Friday. No, we're talking about Saturday. And then no, Friday into Saturday, Saturday into Sunday, that's what we're talking about. So yeah, Friday, broke up. All was good. Sorted out my phone, sorted out my laptop, like I normally do. Sorted myself out. Um, and then I thought I was going to stay in here and actually just... Okay, so there's something wrong with YouTube right now. Don't know why, but it's come up on my screen as I was about to watch a video. And, um, yeah... Instead, I didn't sit there and watch any videos. I sat here for like two hours. Well, not sat here for the whole two hours. But I actually hoovered up the whole of my room and everything around it. Sorted loads of crap out. And then I went into my drawer under my bed. It's got all my paperwork in. All my pay slips. Any, basically, all my work stuff. Job centre, flipping, NHS stuff. Anything, basically, to do with paper. All my letters, like bank statements, stuff like that. Um, yeah, I sorted out the whole lot, and literally, I had two, I had like, how many different folders out, and I was like, okay, this goes in this one, this one goes there, this one goes there, I threw away a lot of crap, which was good, I, I found some stuff I totally even forgot I had, and it just brought back so many memories of me, when, at that time, um, so yeah, I was in here for like two hours sorting that out, sorted everything out, hoovered everything, cleaned everywhere. Uh, I still got a big bag of rubbish. That's not going to be in there. Because uh, technically, that bag over there is um, a new bag of rubbish, which has nothing in it because I have to put rubbish in it and there is none in here. The only thing that I kept over there is a few letters. Um, for some reason, that is going to go into my thing because I keep all my letters of certain things. In a folder but them ones I have, to, I have to keep on the side because of one of my letters oh that reminds me the one underneath I have to keep out as well uh, that don't go in a folder because I have to keep it out for a certain date and then yeah I watched a few videos it was hot I was gonna fall asleep but then I found the will the strength to get up and be like no go downstairs Annoyed mummy and that. So I went downstairs. I annoyed my mum. I watched some TV. Two pints of lava. And then I got a call off George. And he thought. Matt. Nah, do you feel like going for a walk down the river? It's like hell yeah. I was like okay. This is Friday going into Saturday. So what happened? Me and George. Walked along the river. From ours. By the shops. Technically, me from my house all the way to Woolwich Tesco's, along by the river, all the way along the river back, all the way to Kaisark, just to go to McDonald's and have like six, six cans, maybe five cans of beer, all the way back to my house. My, okay. My legs broken from that point. I was in pain from when I got to literally the social club just down the road. I was like, I can do it. I could do it as soon as I get to the hotel. It's, it's just a little bit far from there. It's just, it's just there. Uh, but instead of George coming up to the hotel car with me, he wanted to leave at a point where he can go to his house easier going the other way. So I was like, okay, we'll talk tomorrow, blah, blah, blah. I ran from the hotel, like from the top of the hill, I ran across the roads, 
I didn't want to walk. I was in so much pain. My legs, my back, back of the fucking ankle part, like that bit there. Oh my god, I was in pain. Oh man, it was. I I felt like they were gonna literally fall off. But I didn't. I survived. And it was over like six miles of walking. That's not fun. I mean, it was fun because. Me and George, we just spoke about loads of different things. Loads of different things, man. About London, Christmas, family. Random stuff. We even spoke, we even said hello to Kat. Literally. As we were coming past Woolwich, coming back here. Well, going into the other part of Greenwich. We saw a kitty along the river. And we stroked it. Then there was another kitty who was ginger, I'm not being racist, but that cat gave me the evils, you know? You know the Vicky Pollard evils? That is what the cat gave me. Would not stop staring at me. Didn't like me at all. Clearly not. But we made our way. It was all good. I got McDonald's. I walked back with him. And then what did I do? I literally, my mum and dad were awake. This was just after 12 o'clock as well that we got back. And we, I left at what? Seven? It took like six hours to do everything. The thing is, we weren't walking at a fast pace. We were just walking at a slow pace and just talking about random stuff. Sometimes we did stop. Um, and like, we, we took a photo of the sunset. Like, I'm actually going to put this, the sunset photo, the first, the first one that I took, the one that's very bright. That is, that is the thumbnail for this video. Okay. So then I come in here. And I was like. My feet are dead. I literally just went into the bed. I sorted out the stuff. And I could not be bothered to post that video. That I basically done. Like six hours ago. Now. I was I was in too much pain. Oh man. You, you could not believe it. And it weren't just that. Lower part of my back was hurting. But it weren't hurting as much. Um, it only started hurting literally as soon as I was walking back from Greenwich, but it weren't that bad as my the back part of my ankles. I've got to fucking know the actual name of them, but oh my god, I was in pain. But it went to the point where I was okay, you know, crying, walking along for it. weren't that kind of pain, but I was like, it, worst kind of ache ever, you know. But we succeeded. We came in, sorted that stuff out. I all I done was put on the Spotify tab. To try and watch one video to see if I could manage to at least watch half of it. Five minutes into it. I was falling asleep. I was tired. Put on Spotify. Put it on side. Went to sleep. I had a weird dream about my next door neighbour. Jake. Uh, sorry, yeah, my old next door neighbour who used to live there. I had a weird dream. Not, not just about him, but I think it was my whole class. At primary school, it was really, really weird and random, if you know what I mean. Uh, and then today, or should I say yesterday, because today is Monday, uh, seeing as it's past four o'clock, or three o'clock, one of them. No, it's coming up to four o'clock, what am I on about? Either way, okay, eight minutes for the first vlog, perfectly good for that day. And then I woke up. I woke up in pain still, <laughs> literally I was still in pain with my feet, I was like I don't want to move, but it was, it got so late, I had, did I even have 7 hours sleep, what are you doing in here, hey, hey, oh, you dreaming, she's like man, I know you got them dreamies, you know what I'm saying, man, give me some, give me some. Get princess and I'll give you some. Princess is my cat. But I don't know where she is. Little shit. But anyway. Okay. You do the scratching. Scratching it up. Uh, Yeah. Woke up in pain. It was very uncomfortable. I was going to have paracetamol in my butt for If I just lay down there. You know. Tweedle my feet a little bit. Just like move it around. In circles. While I'm laying there on the sofa. It'll all be good. As soon as I go down there. My mum was watching something. Then something else came on. And she was like, Matt, turn this over. 
And I was like, onto what? She didn't give me, she didn't specify. So what did I put on? I put on two pints of lager. And we pretty much watched that the whole night. Um, even though for part of the time when my sister was down here, I was annoying my sister. Uh, then I was annoying my brother when he come in from work. I was annoying my mum and dad the whole time. Um, my mum tried to turn it over the country file. Uh, she didn't realise that I have an app where I have the Sky Remotes on my phone. Any Sky Remote on my phone. So I put it on the thingy to annoy her. She didn't do anything. Um, okay, fucking cats are messing around the stairs. I should take a hay fever tap. I haven't needed a hay fever tap in weeks. But now my eyes, rubbing my eyes, they're starting to, you know, get a itchiness, get a itchiness. Um, so yeah. Started to basically annoy everyone. It was fun, you know. Um, and then we were just sitting there talking about random stuff. Then everyone started to go to bed. But I'm still there watching Two Pints of Lager. Um, then it gets to 12 o'clock. And I'm like, okay, the pre-show to WWE should start. Uh, to Clash of Champions. No, it started at 11. But I turned it over about 10, 10 to 12. Luckily, I saw the ending of the second pre-show match, which was AJ Styles and Cedric Alexander. Not spoiling it, so it's okay. Uh, but I was okay, because if, if that's all you saw, like them two, you had the Cruiserweight one, then you had that, and it was kind of boring anyway. I was happy that I didn't technically watch it because normally it would start at 1 o'clock, the main show, but you always had the pre-show at 12. No, it was an hour early, but I was happy about that, so it was okay. Then, seeing as we're talking about four hours ago, uh, yeah, sitting there watching the, um, the wrestling. I was unhappy at first, then I was unhappy again. Unhappy a little bit more. Happy. Then I got unhappy again. Then I was happy. Mixed emotions. Mixed emotions. You know what I'm saying? But, uh, uh, yeah. Yeah. Now, the thing is, while the matches were on, I was I was telling my mum before it, like, we'll get the cats in a lot late. Uh, not a lot later than normal, but the more we keep Matt now at the time, at that time when she was going to bed, which was just before 10 o'clock, They'll want to come in later, more, like, more. So, it got to just after 12 o'clock, and I started getting them in. Put food in their bowl. Four cats were in. I was like, okay, that's good. Another four to go. Then, uh, opened the door. No, I went outside the front to see who would come in. The black cat come in. So, that was the fifth cat. Perfectly fine. Then, it was just Timmy, Buster, and Jojo. Buster and Jojo, they stay out all night anyway. They love to stay out at night. But Timmy, Timmy for the last week has always been out the front at night. He's been a little shit. But I went out there after a few, like, I kept going out there just to call them and see if they'd come in. Uh, but then Timmy come in from the back. Because Beth let him out because she went out for a cigarette. Um, he's in. I'm like, okay. Buster and Jojo. Buster's always at the front. Always at the front. Jojo, like, same with her, but she's sometimes out in the back. That's why I kept opening both doors. I went outside the front, literally, right near the end of uh, the pay-per-view. And I'm calling Jojo and Buster, and I hear a meow. And I'm thinking it's Buster, because he does that. Jojo don't meow that much. Um, so I started walking a little bit closer, then I see a fox, and I'm like, okay, you get in my way, we're going to have problems, you know what I'm saying, me and this, me and this fox. Then I call Jojo again, I, I basically say Jojo and Buster, and I see Jojo come out of the bushes, and the fox 
is like in front of her, further up near me. So I basically start running over. Jojo manages to get under a car. The the fox has basically gone in on in the way of uh, the va a van basically parked up, and I'm basically running along and I'm like Jojo come in now, and like luckily she manages to slip past the fox and come in. Now Buster, Buster hasn't come in yet. He's been a little shit. But the thing is I haven't heard anything. I didn't hear any like meows outside the front afterwards. Um, so maybe he's just been a little shit and don't want to come in. Hopefully he's okay. Just don't don't like foxes. Don't like them all. They're just horrible people. Or horrible animals, should I say. I mean, it's in their nature to go around and eat everything, kill every monster just to eat it, but... No. No. It's like when you're in a car and you're on a motorway and you accidentally see a dead fox, you know. It, it just... You, you don't want to see it and you... you It'd be easier if the fox was alive, you know, it's just so you wouldn't have to see it. You you want you want every animal to be okay. Um, but then when you have a fox and a, like one of your cats, and that fox is going for it, you're like, mate, get get, get the fuck away from my cat, or I'm gonna kill you. You know what I'm saying? Luckily, that fox didn't want nothing to do with me because I probably would have run. I'm saying, <laughs> nah. I would have made sure my cats are okay. That's why I kept going out there afterwards and trying to get Buster. But he weren't bloody... I, I think he's in the flipping courtyard. Right at the back. No shit. But everyone with, everyone else was in. We just got to make sure that today, later on when I wake up, if my mum's seen him. <laughs> he'll probably come in for food, but he's always out. He doesn't... Yeah. Or if I wake up and he's in my mum's room asleep on the floor, because then we're happy, you know, we're all happy. We don't want him to be like, okay, we haven't seen him. Uh, hopefully nothing happened, but I mean, normally he's okay. It's the first time I've actually seen a fox around here, like right near the flipping cars where the cats are near enough always are. So that's why I had to make sure, you know. Um, and then, yeah, I was happy with the uh, the ending of the pay per view. Now, I'm not talking about the match. I'm talking about what happens after the match. The last match. As he's going up the stairs. Okay. Not stairs. As the person is basically going backstage. And turns around. And what's that? What happens next? No spoilers. No spoilers. <laughs> but apart from that. When my. Like back of my. Like. Back of my ankle part is it's not in pain, but I can feel like something there, you know, it's weird. <sighs> my sister bought me a McDonald's. Like as if see the thing is I said to my sister, uh because I was annoying my brother, obviously, he went to my sister's and I was basically saying to my brother, because he let he had Pepsi cans, I was like, Thanks man with the Pepsi, cheers, and he was like, put that back, like in a message, as if to say I took one. And I was like, oh, man, it tastes so good. And I was like, no, you've got to come here and stop me. And he'll be like, I'll be home soon. The thing is, my sister asked me if I wanted anything from the shop. I said, yeah. Can you get me a can of Pepsi, Max Cherry, because that's what he gets, and an Aero Bar chocolate. She forgot the Aero Bar chocolate. Not happy about it. But she did get me, not a can of Pepsi Max Cherry, a two litre bottle, which I was happy about because I didn't pay for it. She did, she wasted her money clearly. And she didn't say no, she just spends her money willy nilly. Then I'm sitting there, I take a video. My brother clearly thinks I'm, I took his Pepsi Max Cherry. Um, he come in, I was like, So, um, I see you lied. And he was like, What do you mean I lied? Uh, he was, and I was like, Well. Didn't you say yesterday, seeing as you forgot to get it yesterday, as mum forgot to get it on Friday, that you were going to get the sunflower oil I needed? He was like, he was like, oh, I forgot it. I was like, no, you basically lied, you didn't get it. You said you were going to? Didn't. Terrible. <laughs> and then he, he basically found out that the bottle I was drinking out of was Pepsi Max Cherry, so he was okay with it. He was okay. Oh. And he was like, he was like, why do you need sunflower oil exactly? The spray, the spray one, which makes it easier, as I've explained this in the blog before. And I said to him, I went, okay, you know when you basically put something on and sometimes it sticks to the pan? He was like, yeah. I was like, 
you put a bit of sunflower oil on there, bang, doesn't stick to the fan. Never happens with me. He's like, oh. He's like, what's wrong with that? And I was like, because I don't really want half my, let's say, pizza or chicken drummers or cheese sandwiches or, or chips, like, stuck to the pan. And only have, like, half of them, half of what I want. Because that's just going to make me want to eat more and put something else on in the place. More food. And I told him that. And he was like, well, eat all the food. And I was like, well, that's what I'm planning to do anyway. You know what I'm saying? And he was like, no, eat it all. So we can basically make sure everything's gone to buy brand new stuff. Because if we always buy something, while we have stuff in there, we always choose the stuff that we always buy first. Like, at that time, instead of having stuff that we should have had before. Not me. That's my mum that does it. That's why he wants everything gone. So we can basically have something, everything brand new. Um, and, yeah, that was funny. That was really funny. Kept stealing my uh, everyone's lighters. Pretty funny, pretty funny. Uh, and yeah, that's about it. Literally, I am gonna lay down in a minute and uh, technically, I'm gonna try and watch this video for like 20 minutes. Uh, but apart from that, that's, uh, like, there's nothing else to do Sunday, uh, Monday morning. All right, what's happening today on a Monday? Um, nothing that I know of. Tuesday, I've got to go out to the middle of London to a centre for something. Wednesday, I'm going to see a movie, maybe, with George at the end of the day. I just want to get the flip in, the phone... Uh, the, the, the phone holder for my bike. Yeah, because I told my sister after, after she bought the Pepsi, she also bought everyone McDonald's. And she was like, Matt, do you want anything? And I was like, wouldn't it be easier if, if I just, like, wouldn't it be easier if you just gave me, like, that £8 that you normally pay for the McDonald's if I wanted something and so I could save it for something that I need on a different day? She was like, no. I was like, so I have to get McDonald's or I get nothing. I don't get the money. She was like, yeah. I was like, all right. Well, just give me a double quarter pound of meal, McFlurry, uh, large. Yeah, she come back. The meal was medium, and the McFlurry was the wrong one. I went smarty, she got me Oreo. But I was grateful, I was happy about it, you know what I'm saying? But I would have preferred like this seven, eight pound, just so I'm like, you know what, to be honest, she could have just got me... Uh, a double cheeseburger medium price, you know, £2.50 or £2.60, perfectly fine, would it save me an extra £5, I could put that in, my, in the money box and that's it, and then I also found out that my sisters were going to, what what they were going to buy me for Christmas, and then I basically spoke to my sister on the phone, I went, I don't want nothing from anyone, I don't need anything, if I do need something, I will let you all know before Christmas, technically what I need, that's it. But I don't need anything. So don't buy me anything unnecessary that I don't need. Might need a new brain one day. So you can save up for it. <laughs> but apart from that, that's it. Me and my canvases are going to go to bed now. You know, we got Ray Skywalker. Well, I'm guessing. Now the Joker. That canvas is the best one. We got Harry Potter one. Which is just a sign of um, Hogwarts. I think it's just... You'll see it. Fantastic Beasts and Where to Find Them, the first one I think it is. And something else, I can't remember what it is. Literally, I mean. That's the Harry Potter one, that's the Fantastic Beasts. What's behind it? I haven't even looked. I can't believe I haven't taken down the actual posters of the dog listening to music and Man of Steel, which technically I rate as a crap film. But I had the poster because I liked it at that time, you know what I mean? Um, and then obviously this poster that is bent over. Let's let's try and see what that is. Uh, right, we're gonna move this and dump it right here for now. Okay. Dump that bag right there for now. What was this? Because I technically haven't even wanted to look at my. Oh, okay. I know what it is now. Fucking thing. Yeah, it's the uh, Keep Calm Britain thing. So, yeah, I might actually, literally today, like when I wake up, sort myself out on my phone and my laptop. 
move it over a little just to take these three posters off throw them in a bin and uh that's pretty much it really i've got a canvas over there i can't remember what that's about i think that's the batman one the batman dark Knight rises no the dark Knight. i think that's the one i have in there i'm not really sure or it's Millwall. can't remember <laughs> But apart from that, I know it's 25 minutes long, but that's life. And um, I'm going to basically leave this to upload while I sleep. So I'm not dealing with it. The Wi-Fi can do with it, even though the Wi-Fi is crap. And it will probably say like five hours to upload or even fucking longer. If I wake up at 11 o'clock or I'm actually going to try and wake up by half 10 at least. And that's like six hours and a half. You know what? 11.15. I'll, tr I'll set an alarm for 11.15. Wake up. And if it's not done by then... I will happily use my data or just leave it on there because I've got an app where I can leave the uh, the screen on because your screen can only last 10 minutes. I think it's 10 minutes or 5 minutes. 600 seconds. And then it goes off. My app that I have keeps the screen on. So while I'm uploading my video, press that and it stays on and it stays uploaded while it's charging. That's the good thing. Unless it gets to 100, then I'll always take it off. Uh, but yeah, apart from that's it. That is it. Okay, guys. So, uh, I'm sorry this is another two, two for one, but like, it's like, I couldn't even upload it because I was out, obviously, walking down to Greenwich at the time with George. So I couldn't upload it. Uh, not upload it. I couldn't clip in. I couldn't. I had the. I have an editing thing in my thing in my on my phone, but at the time my battery was a lot lower than what I thought it was gonna be, and I had to copy and paste something and I couldn't do it at that time. I couldn't even fucking find the, the thing. Oh, I didn't even go on my phone that much. I literally took like a couple of photos, messaged a couple of people on the way there and back and nah. But that's it. When I got home it was on like five percent. I had to quickly put it on there. I couldn't even make a video anyway, so uh yeah. Sorry about that, guys. So have fun. Peace. Like. Subscribe. Don't worry. It's not going to be late anymore. And I'll try and not do, try not to do two for one. But if, if I'm out, I, I love walking along the river. It's like, it makes me happy. You know, it makes you peace and calm for, uh, calm and peaceful. Should be there. Alright, guys. So peace.